So first, you take make sure that you actually have syrup. Which I know this is already very, very close. You want to be on this line right here. tough to see but through the bubbles and the surface tension it is right on that line so take it off the heat for all this back in <clears throat> then we're going to filter it through uh, through this filters these filters so this is just a pre-filter I've already wet them according to the Manufacturer's directions. And then, uh, in order to get the most surface area, you invert the cone and uh, a sailor's hat. So now the syrup will get filtered through not just the bottom part of the cone, but the whole, whole surface of the cone. Take these clothes pins so you don't have a, anything fold in on you. This is a smaller batch. I <clears throat> didn't have that much sap this week, so there's not a ton of syrup to put in here. just a regular thermometer um, you don't want to filter it too hot so I'll just take a measurement of this it's about 217 ish degrees is a little warm but we gotta get to church soon so we'll give this a shot if it doesn't come out right we can always refilter Okay, so there you see, maybe you see, it's in the cones and it's coming through the pan here, comes through the filters in the pan. And then it's simply a matter of, once your fluid equalizes in the filter to out of the filter, so you won't flow anymore. See if I can just get one. And you let it drain. Wish I had something to hang this on instead of waiting on it to drain. I guess what I could do here. And then we do the same thing. That one didn't turn.
in the next one. All right, and then for the final one, maybe. Huh. last time I did it, they uh, they went right back into comb shape. I don't know why they just decided not to do that this time. Maybe we can encourage it. Little hot. And we're just getting the last little bit out there. But all that brown sediment that you can see the difference between the white and the brown. Some of that syrup, so this does take a little bit of your syrup away, but what you're left with is nice clear syrup. Probably, I wish I could leave this hang and drip, drip, drop there, but we'll get that and clean in the pan. And so the dark marks you see here, these are pre-scorches on the pan, but if you look and you see, there's really nothing, nothing nasty in the bottom of that. So we'll wait till it gets down, uh, can it around 190, a little bit over 190 and then it'll be ready to eat.